Let's discuss combining points principles, the chi circulation in the channel system. In order to visualize this circulation of chi in relation to the changing gravitational potential energy, it is best to visualize the body without arms and legs. This is because although the three yang channels of the arm flow down the arm and the three yang channels of the arm flow up the arm, they are both actually flowing up towards the head. Similarly, for the yang and yin channels of the legs, that is, although the three yang channels of the leg flow down and the three yin channels flow up, both sets of channels are actually flowing down towards the chest. In other words, in order to vi best visualize the concept of gravitational energy potential in relation to the flow of chi in the body, it is best to ignore the arms and legs and visualize the movement of chi as a movement from the chest via the arms to the head and then back to the chest by the legs. Here is an illustration of chi circulation between the head and the chest, an example of the Yang uh, yin channel is the lung, which is, is supposedly flowing through down to the arms. But if we imagine it without the arms, it goes up the head as it connects with its uh, yin yang pair, which is the large intestine. The stomach channel, which is supposed to be going down to the to the legs goes back up to the chest by its spleen yin yang pair, which is the spleen. Okay. So if we look at the previous uh, figure, we see that within each set of four channels, there are two yin, one in the arm and one in the leg. And the two yang channels, one in the arm and one in the leg. These channels form pairs of connected channels of same polarity, both yin or both Yang, same level of energy and opposite location that is one in the arm and the other is in the legs. So the channels in the arm, we have the small intestine as part of the greater Yang channel, the lesser Yang, the triple burner, the bright yang, the large intestine, the greater yin, which is the lung, the lesser yin, which is the heart, and the terminal yin, which is the pericardium. Its counterpart on the leg, the greater yang channel of the leg is the bladder, the lesser yang channel of the leg is the gallbladder, the brighter yang channel of the leg is the stomach, the greater yin channel of the of the leg is the spleen, the lesser yin channel of the leg is the kidneys, and the terminal yin channel is the liver. So here is another circulation, uh, illustration of the cycle of chi circulation in the 12 channels. Moving on. The above names refer to the amount of yang or yin energy in the daily cycle as follows. Greater yang and greater yin pertains to maximum yang and yin, respectively. Lesser yang and lesser yin pertains to minimum yang and yin, respectively. Brighter yang and terminal yin pertains to average yang and yin, respectively. So, you see that in the early morning, yin is its is at its maximum, which is greater yin, and yang is its yang at its average level, which is the bright yang. In the middle of the day, yang is at its maximum, which is the greater yang, and yin at its minimum, which is the lesser yin. In the evening or night, yang is it is at its while yin is at its average level, which is the terminal yin. Here is another illustration showing the ebb and flow of yin and yang in the daily cycle of the 12 channels from the greater yin to the terminal yin from the brighter yang to the lesser yang. 
Thank you for your attention.